Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines and a special Sunday afternoon to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. We begin our news in St. Catherine to be exact, where sadness struck in an area she's called Snake Hill in Point Hill, St. Catherine, where a student of Jonathan Grant High School was found dead at his home. Dead is a Marco Brown who is 12 years of age. Now based on the news report, on Saturday, which was yesterday, the constable whose name is being withheld went to the home of her nephew's mother to do her hair. Now they were doing their hair outside combing her hair when they heard those explosions. Now the two, the man and the aunt rushed inside where they saw a marker lying in a pool of blood with gunshot wounds to his body. Now Brown was lying on the floor next to the bed with a single gunshot wound to his head to be exact. Now the constable's gun was found inside her handbag on the bed which was next to the body of a Marco Brown. Now everyone is puzzled as to what transpired. Now it's alleged that the aunt placed her handbag on the bed and went outside to do her hair when a Marco Brown went inside her bag allegedly and after that you know it went south he shot himself however based on news report they found the gun still in the handbag of the aunt even after he was shot in the head so we don't know if he allegedly pulled the handbag and the gun accidentally went off and he was shot in his head. But certainly this is very puzzling and it warrants a head scratch. As I said before, this is very puzzling and confusing. And we don't know what transpired. We only can speculate and assume. But we will wait until the police do their proper investigation and make an update as to what truly transpired. Now we head towards Hopewell, Hanover, where yesterday, to be exact, Nathaniel, aka Natty, who you see on your screen right now, was stabbed in an altercation and he was in the Connor Region Hospital but based on his stab wounds he lost that fight he succumbed to his injuries in hospital now he was stabbed during an altercation in Hopel Hanover that incident took place last night as I said before in Hopel Hanover he was brought to place of recovery in Montego Bay where he succumbed to his injuries while battling for his life. These are young youth you see on the screen right now, people. A young youth who I don't think reached 24 as yet, but died based on an altercation. A knife brought into play and he was stabbed. Now, you see where young people are dying at an alarming rate in Jamaica. First time, he was the elderly. But now as your quint, a young person is either dying from road crashes, gunshot, or even a stab wound. And it tells you that young people are not really or truly enjoying their life as they ought to because their lifespan 
is or has become very short based on different issues in Jamaica all the world as well and as sad as it may be is the reality that we live in on a day-to-day -day basis and as parents I preach this all the while we have to be a great example to our children we have to do more in good parenting and guiding our children that our children can live to see many years because if there's not good structure of parenting in the home our children are left to roam the streets in bad company or end up in conflicts where they can lose their lives and as parents you know we don't want to hear that our children were stabbed to death or shot in the streets and it's never a pretty feeling or sight when our parents lose their children or a child to acts of violence we have to do a better job when it comes down to parenting whether it's a mother or father in the home or a person being a single parent not saying no you have to be around your children or a child 24 7 but you have to know the kind of friends that they keep and the company that they're in if it's good or bad and you can't leave your children to roam the streets or seek that love in the streets because the streets love no one now we head towards westmoreland to be exact where three murders were recorded two in the day and one last night as you right now is marlon who is a worker at a hotel in Nigel Westmoreland. Now, on Saturday afternoon, which was yesterday, he was shot while coming from his premises on Nampral Road. Now, he was shot in the head by criminal elements on a ledge motorcycle. Those criminal elements rode off successfully. Because of his murder, there was a pile of traffic in Negril to be exact. Now, early in the morning, a vendor of a St. James address was shot and killed in Savlamar Market by criminal elements on a motorcycle. He was shot in the head. Now, last night, in Garden White House, Westmoreland, a claim took place as well. Now this, they would them call Japa. Now Japa was shot and killed in Garden White House, Westmoreland last night. Now Garden is a very small community. However, it has been having the increase of violence between two rival factions. It's a matter of friends turned enemies, all because of lottery scamming. Now last week, he said what them call Situ was shot and killed in the same garden, district, top garden to be exact. Now, the killing of Joppa is alleged that he was murdered in reprisal for the killing of Situ, who you see on your screen right now. Now Situ was no saint. He was involved in criminal activities. However, he was killed last week. Now, the killing of Joppa, I said before, is said to be a reprisal for Sito, who you see on your screen right now. I also allege that he and Sito had altercation. In the streets, it's alleged that Joppa was the one who sent men to kill Sito last week. However, a friend of Sito come kill back. Joppa. Now these are all allegations from the streets. But nevertheless, it is 
sad indeed that White House, Garden White House, has break out in violence. It wasn't like this, but because of scamming, youth and youth start by a gun. Them are differences, conflict, turn enemies. This is what going on in Westmoreland and all over Jamaica. Scamming is the reason why Jamaica has an increase in bloodshed, crime and violence. This is Jay Crazy again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Sunday afternoon. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are free. J Crazy in a play with him, I review the thing. Then J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. We review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are free. J Crazy in a play with him, I review the thing. Then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy